Welcome back to request video. We have some phone calls for you guys. I hope you don't mind. If, uh, we're going to risk it and take these. Right. So why don't we go to the phones? Hello? Hello? Hi, who's this? This Steve from Mission Viejo. Steve, you sound like you're like next door. This is the best phone <coughs> line we've ever had. Um, what's your question? Um, where did you guys get your name? Nine Inch Nails. Now, there had to have been something more creative than that. <laughs> but that's okay. It's okay. It's You're welcome to ask. No, not to be rude. People have been asking me that for... We've been around, what, three years or so? No, no great significance. Just thought of it, liked it two weeks later. That's the test for a band name. You write it down, you like it that day. If you wake up the next day and it's, and it's okay, then it's a good name. And that worked, and it was better than Toad the Wet Sprocket, so. <laughs> Sorry. Why don't Sorry, we skip toad. over whichever <laughs> phone call we're going to take where they ask what the inspirations are and we'll take the next phone call. Hello? 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 Hi, who's this? Uh, this is Carlos from Montebello. Carlos, you're not going to say who's your inspiration, are you? No, I'm not. Thank you. Um, yeah, I wanted to ask Trent um, what he has against um, Frontline Assembly or Bill Lee. Boy, you're right. You weren't going to ask that. <laughs> all right. Well, just to address this once and for all. I have nothing against them. Uh, in the course of that interview, he's referring to a thing I said in Spin about Frontline Assembly, where I pretty much, let me think of the censored way to put this, I said bad things about them. Um, I apologize to Bill for that, because I realized it was irresponsible, and I didn't mean to do that in the first place. And I was kind of, that interview was going poorly, and I'd realized that I'd kind of been swindled into that under false, um, a false pretense of what it was about. And I was panicking, and I just blurted out that and thought, I wonder if they're going to print that, and of course they did. So I contacted Bill, and that sent him on a Nine Inch Nails trashing rampage, which is, you know, I started it, so fair enough. So I, that's the end of the chapter, as far as I'm concerned. Good enough. Uh, we've got one more call. Hello? 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 Hi, what's your question? Um, yeah, I want to know if um, the band is ever going to be on tour. Uh, yeah, well, someday we'll be on tour again. <laughs> um, decided, I was just concerned that we'd toured quite a bit on the last record. In fact, a lot and a lot. And wanted to just kind of take a backseat for one, get some more music out, more albums. And um, when we complete the next record that we're working on now, we'll go on a pretty lengthy tour, which will probably start next summer, next fall, something like that. Um, we do have one more phone call, so why don't we take that too? Hello? Hi. Hi. Hi, this is Wendy from Cerritos. Hi, Wendy. What's your question? Um, I was wondering if there's any significance in um, the backwards N in Nine Inch Nails. The backwards N. <laughs> uh -huh. Is it a logo thing, or did you decide that there was a portion of your no, life that was backward? We, we do years? worship the devil, but... It, 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 <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I remember having that conversation. <laughs> um, what's the biggest misconception about you guys? Uh, uh, no, I don't know. Um, possibly, I, I get irritated when people say it's anti-women. It's not. Yeah. Okay. Um, what else? Oh, we get labeled as being industrial right, by the media. And some people, that tends to irk because they're harking back to what industrial was originally coined for in those type of bands, Throbbing Gristle, Test Department, etc., which we have very little in common with. Um, so, that, I don't know, that seems to irritate some people. I didn't ever go around saying we're an industrial band, but, all right. Now, were all three of you at the Guns N' Roses thing at Wembley? Um, two of the three of us here were. Was it just the most horrible thing in your life? I mean, because I, because the, the, the audience is, how could, the audiences could not have been more different. I mean, and, and to be there was Skid Row. Of, of, oh, yeah. of all bands. I mean, how did, how did that work out? I mean... Well, the situation came up. Axel um, likes the band mm -hmm. and wanted to do anything he could to help us out, which I can appreciate. Mm -hmm. And asked if we would do this club tour with him a, a while ago, which we couldn't because of scheduling. Mm -hmm. And we were going to Europe at the same time at the completion of the first Lollapalooza. And thought, I mean, we're very small in Europe. Very little, peop very few people know who we are or care about us there. And we thought what a weird thing to do would be open for Guns N' Roses. Mm -hmm. Plus, I wasn't really thinking that clearly and we'd been touring for a long time, and we'd been playing 20,000 seat halls with Lollapalooza. 
and kind of had this invincible, we can do anything attitude. And when we got there, I realized that it was just, there was nothing we could do that would win those people over. And it was an experiment. Yeah, it was kind of numbing to walk out on stage and see. What you saw. Yeah, it was, an, <laughs> it was an unpleasant feeling. But then it just turned into a joke by the end. But then I wanted to get out of there as quickly as possible before I was killed. So. Yeah. <laughs> now you're here. You're safe with us. <laughs> um, gonna, we're going to watch some more videos coming up after these words. You're going to see Nine Inch Nails. Well, actually, before we go to commercial break, you brought in a video that you guys just finished editing, what, like today or something? For yeah, I just did a video that we filmed in London for the song Wish that um, Peter Christopherson from Coil directed. And then we just, he came over here and we edited it at my house and we're just, today, just drove it here. So it's... Thank you. Fresh. Pre-MTV. Yeah, they don't have it. Thank you. Anyway, you're also going to see Ministry Stigmata for Brian in Lake Forest and we'll be back after this.